Robert De Niro literally dropped the mic. <laughs> okay? Over and over and over again, we hear women arguing the point. Men and women are not different. You know, why should we be set at different standards? Why aren't we equal? He literally single-handedly proved to women everywhere the reason why men and women can operate differently. Can any woman anywhere uh, without the help of any outside source create a child at the age of 79? I'll wait. And I guess I'm going to keep on waiting because we know that that can't happen. (laughs) There was literally, literally um, yesterday morning, I was on my way to the gym. And while I was driving to the gym, I turned on the breakfast club, right? It was just on the radio. I'm listening to it. And I literally hear a caller who is, I believe she said she was 36 or 37 years old. And she was talking about um, how she finds it convenient or how she finds it necessary for women to sleep around and, you know, try to find options. And she had the audacity to say that one day she hopes that she finds a positive relationship when she's done having her fun. Um, ma'am, I hope that you realize that at the space that you're in, the only thing that you are going to be at this point is going to be fun. Um, I hate to say it so ruthfully, but, um, a, a time passer, you, you think that you're in control. You think that you're in the space that you get to dictate when everything goes to the next level, when you're going to get to, you know, the next relationship over and over again. We hear hear women on the Internet giving women advice, right, whether they are married or not. Sitting in their spaces, telling women what they should and should not do, how they should move. Oh, don't let these men control you. And at the end of the day. Those women are sleeping in bed with somebody at night and they're giving you advice that's going to keep you single. Women are worried about the bag. They're worried about a man that could do this. They're worried about competing with a man. They're worried about, uh, you know, having their 304 phase. They're worried about, you know, having the opportunity to pick, choose, and refuse men. Instead of worrying about the reality. And the reality is you cannot do what a man can do. Ain't no way we see the car competing with the garage. If y'all get the analogy, then you get it. Ain't no way. No matter how you slice it, you the one... Okay, getting dug out. It's you. The man that's doing the digging, you think he's feeling the same effects that you are? He's not. We have grown women, and you know, there's there's grown women, and the only reason why they would be deemed as grown is because of their age. But when we look at how they're living their lifestyle or uh, the type of things that they think are necessary at a certain stage in life. And then when we find out that they are baffled to realize that they don't have the options that they think that they're going to have. Oh, I can't understand why, um, you know, all the people that I'm dating is dusty or is broke or is this. Or is that all these things that they said that they they don't understand why they they only get that because because you know where you are. You're in the space of beggars can't be choosers. I'm just being honest. I'm being honest, guys. Does this mean that this goes for all women over a certain age? No. From what I've seen, the women who move with humility. 
the women who are genuinely uh, longing for somebody or were in situations where it didn't work out, who are already wives. And I mean that in a sense of uh, they know how they they're looking for somebody that they can just hurry up and support. And I'm not even talking about financially. I'm talking about they looking for somebody that they can nurture, care for. The girls who be in my comment sections or or even in my DM, oh, yeah, girl, you know, I'm so happy because you're helping me, you know, do self-work so that I can, you know, have a man that I could lay his clothes out for him so that I can cook for him. You see, women like that, that's different. A lot of these women, these modern women who are so arrogant and egotistical, like, oh, no, I would never be with, oh, please. I'm just like Erica, not no bus driver. Girl, you can't get nobody. Oh, girl, I got all these people in my phone. I got all these people in my DM. You got all these people wanting to sleep with you, and you think that's a flex. You're a woman. Duh. <laughs> of course you're going to have one, you're gonna have people who want to sleep with you. You're a woman. It's a lot easier for women to obtain intimacy than it is for men. So sometimes men be making their rounds of wherever they can find the, the most easily accessible uh, person to partake in that situation with. And a lot of y'all be thinking it's a flex. Oh my gosh, everywhere I go, all these men want me. These are just not the type of men that I want. Yeah, look around you. Those are the type of men that you're attracting. Those are the type of people in your grasp. The men that you say that you want that are so good and so much better than the options around you, where are they? And how come you've, not only how come they're not in your grasp, but how come you've literally never dated one? Can we be real? I have to have these conversations honestly because you know why? You know, even when I'm like just scrolling through Instagram or even when I hear things or see things on TikTok or just like I was in the car, you know, driving to the gym. And when I hear women so, uh, you know, strongly speak out of ignorance and, and what gets me is that they genuinely think that they're right in what they're saying. It bothers me. And it also shows a lot about you. It shows that you don't know um, who you truly are as a woman. Because women who are truly knowledgeable about themselves, most women, because you have a whole different side to it, but we're going to talk about the majority of women. When they know themselves, when they're in tune with their feminine nature, when they're in tune with themselves, they understand that everybody don't deserve no access. They understand that everybody can't just take a ride. They understand that. And when you're grown and you are trying to grown at a certain age where you're no longer the hot girl on the road, you know, things start started going south. <laughs> okay. You could start to, you know, throw them over your shoulder. Maybe you got a couple kids. Uh, maybe, as you said, you done been through your three or four phase. So you done been, you know, round and round she go. And then you're talking about, oh, yeah, one day I hope when you washed up, when everybody had it, when everybody had access to it, when everywhere he go that he's with you, is, is it somebody else that you interacted with? When? It's heartbreaking. And it's because women don't understand Um. Their true nature, and a lot of it is because their mama didn't teach them, granny didn't teach them. Everything was, all the focus was put on what a man could do. Oh, if a man could do that, I want to be able to do that too. If a man could do that, I should be able to do that too. Oh, well, if my brother can stay out late, I should be able to do that too. Oh, well, if this person could do that, everything has been, the, the focal point has been competing with the man. So you never got to learn about your own nature. You never got to learn about your own self. Some of y'all, the focus point, the focal point has been on the man so deep 
because your mom was so mad that your daddy did not want to be with her or that the relationship did not work out, that you have a deep-rooted, loathing energy towards all men and you don't even realize it. Let's be real. You've been so focused on competing with men and trying to level up and trying to be equal to and trying to be the same that you have lost sight of what your true nature is and who you are and what you offer. You ask most women what they bring to the table, quote unquote, we know the, the same comment. They're going to tell you everything that they could do. Nothing about who they are. Nothing about their true essence. Let's be real. You ask a woman, what does it mean to be feminine? They're going to give you some traits that people could copy. You know, walking a certain way, cooking, cleaning. No, it's not. Let's go deeper. Let's talk about compassion. A lot of these women don't got it. Let's talk about nurturing. A lot of these women don't got it. Sad. It's so sad. I love this story again, and I could go on and on about this. Honestly, I could. Because, because the feelings I have toward it are so strong because I see it every day. On TV, on movies, on the radio, on social media. They just be loud and wrong. And boastful about it. But I love this story because, as I said, when women in, are, are trying to say, oh, you know, men and women could do the same things and, you know, we should be treated equally and there should be no double standard. Well, look, nature has given a double standard. Not only could Robert De Niro get pregnant at 79 and a woman can't, Robert De Niro could also impregnate about 50 women at the same time and a woman can only get pregnant once in a nine-month span, 10-month span. We're not, we're not supposed to be in the same space. We're supposed to be the balance of one another. That's what y'all don't get. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear you guys' opinions on this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you.